hadn't read the books. Um, so I got the script, the first script, and much as David was saying, I, I really admired the writing, the structure of it. It raised lots and lots of questions going forward. And one of the questions was, well, apart from the quality of this, this individual episode, why revisit the, these characters in this story? Um, and it was sitting down with Brian and Martha about a year ago, I think, um, and hearing Brian so eloquently and passionately and specifically describe his vision for moving forward within, you know, under the umbrella of Thomas Harris's imagination that, uh, that sold me on it and sent me back to the book. Well, not back to the book. To the book. To the book. <laughs> One unnecessary word in that sentence. <laughs> and uh, so I read Red Dragon, which is obviously the book that uh, Will Graham appears in, and there's a huge amount of information, and a great deal of the book takes place inside his head, um, which from the point of view of an actor getting ready to play the character, it's just the, the best gift. It, it, I mean, I was going back to that book until the day we finished shooting. Um, but it was a pretty steep learning curve. I, uh, I read, you know, I, I read the book, I, went, I, I read it a couple of times and noted it, and then I tried to just let it be in the background of, of every episode. And as Brian created this kind of growing psycho horror scenario, um, I still heard Thomas Harris's voice in the background, which I thought was an incredible achievement on his part. I just lifted lines from the book. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> Do you, did you look at the previous movies with uh, different actors playing Will Graham? Do you stay away from that? I didn't. Um, I guess I stayed away from it. I've, I've seen. I haven't seen Manhunter. Oh. Um, I uh, have I've seen the other movies. Uh, I didn't go back to them. Uh, although that said, it is almost impossible to turn on the television and not find Silence of the Lamb. It is always playing. Um, but no, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. And I didn't, uh, again, there was so much information in the, the combined between the script and the book that I, uh, I, I would not have wanted to do that. The truth is, I would not want to do that under any circumstances. It's, uh, it's not that helpful just as you're starting to get the handle on a character to see somebody else do it really well. <laughs> so, so Martha, what, what was the challenge of sort of finding someone to play Hannibal? I mean, 